All right, great. Okay, we're good to go. So we're talking about the uh, video that Sahil recorded and um, the uh, for the install and uh, uh, auto SK Learn um, being an issue. So one thing I, I noticed with the FFML is that when we clone it, the clone is extremely slow. So like that yes. part which is actually there, I have kind of speeded it up by eight hundred percent. Uh, so uh, it looks very small, but actually it was a very long. It took a very long time, and I have a decent internet speed, so that should not be an issue. Yeah. I don't know what is wrong with Git. Uh, we have a very big. Git I don't understand why it's so big too. Yeah, uh, that is an when issue. There are projects much larger than this. Mm -hmm. For example, I was recently working with Kong API Gateway. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. My internship, I'm working on it. So, so it clones much faster than I know. This is, I don't know what's up with that. Um, I, yeah, I'm really, really, I don't understand what's up with that. Um, let's see. So, let's go and check it out. Let's just make note of the things that we found here in the meeting minutes. Um, okay. Oh, I think I forgot to change the Tuesdays to Fridays. Let's see how long have we been doing this on Fridays. Also, I think we should correct the meeting dates in the calendar because that actually lands people in, in meetings that are not there. Oh, yeah. And try to follow the link which we are posting there because everyone doesn't come together and see that, yes. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's see. So yeah, let's fix that. I thought I did fix that, um, but I must not have. So let me make sure that the calendar looks right on that page. So on my calendar, it looks like. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't doubt that it's wrong. Um, let's see. Um, I'm checking if it's fixed or not. Let's see. Contact us. So on Tuesdays, it is showing like 9:30 p.m. IST. And on Fridays, it is the same time, 9 30 p.m. Okay, let's see. So, oh. what calendar is this attached to? This must be attached to my personal. And we need to make. Oh, because when I set this up initially, I didn't set it up on the other account that does the YouTube. Okay, so that's why. So, let's go to the calendar. And let's figure out. Uh, there is a sharing setting. Settings. I think this is. Is this settings for other calendars? So this is not. Uh, this is. I don't know if I can. I transfer this calendar to this account. I wonder. Uh, yes, you can. I can kind of share calendars between uh, between uh, the. But but it it would probably not reflect that side because it is like a checkbox and uh, you can yeah. exactly copy that. Okay, so, so let me just a create a new one. Yeah, add calendar, create new calendars, or let's see from URL. I calendar browse calendars of interest. Okay. Create new calendar. Okay, we'll just do this. Weekly sync. Okay. And let us. and echo format secret okay oh Man, bad allergies uh, oh my gosh okay um, let's go fix this all right 
So contact us. Did I have to do some kind of hack? I didn't have to do any kind of hack. All right, great. So let's see, let's just change. Oh no, yeah, I did change the properties of that iframe. I thought that sounded right. Okay, there we go. So docs, contact. Great. So, oh, and it doesn't render here. Okay, so let's just make sure this goes to the right place. All right, great. Okay, and then let's make this meeting. Oh, I can't take this and make it a part of this calendar, can I? Copy to. Copy to DFML weekly sync. Okay. And we'll make this number one. We'll just say weekly sync for now. Okay, and are you... Oh, okay, well, why are you not on it? Uh, let me just... All right, I think this is good. Um, and we have the minutes attached. Uh, why is this in June? Uh, oh, I see. It's just because it was uh, set that way and weekly on Friday. Okay. Great. Okay, so now it should be on the docs site, although the docs build is failing, I notice. Er, is the docs build failing? Yeah, it is because yes, the docs... docs build is failing. Something yeah. changed in Sphinx and it, it had issues with our, uh, with our uh, yeah. naming conflict with different, you know, the accuracy is yeah. two different modules. It has some issue, I don't know. Yeah. So Sphinx, Sphinx. It, is, it is with Sphinx, it is not from our side, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I went through that Sphinx issue. Okay, so, um, SK Learn still proves annoying. Uh, so, probably we discussed about this issue earlier uh, on Lint. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, what? Uh, we, we did discuss about this issue at length earlier that it doesn't have some sort of uh, install dependencies because due to which, like, it's I, I guess it doesn't have a TOML file. file for this yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, where is that? Uh, so where are they? I really, really, really hate that this doesn't auto-install. I think I've commented on their thing before. Um, so where is installation? Yeah, all they need is that PyProject TOML. We might just need to patch that for them. Um, let's see. Have they still not added that yet? Okay, we might just need to send them a PR then. I swear that this has been addressed before in their issues. Um, Project. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, I think we need to add a Pi Project Tomo for them here, um, because at this point, this is. I mean, they're obviously not going to fix it themselves. So um, let's see. Um, 
All right, okay, that's not a problem. I'll go at it at some point. So let's see. Um, let's just log it in our issue tracker here. And I'll go. Or maybe we'll just log it in their issue tracker. That's probably a much better idea. Okay, so. So do they, do they have one for it? I didn't, I said Pi Project and oh. I didn't see it. So uh, install, maybe let's try. So, auto SK only using code and Intel extension. I wonder what's going on there. Version bug, okay. Cannot install. I wonder what these people are doing. This is probably, this is somebody. Interesting, okay. Um, yeah, all right, okay, so let's just make an issue, so. Are there contributing guidelines? Let's read them. Okay. Yeah, mm, yeah, let's see, what do they have here? They have their install. Okay, so this, their install, they're not showing the, yeah, they're not showing that extra step, but I know, I know you have to do that, right? You need Cython, right? Yes, actually, uh, when you fail, uh, it would fail on the Cython dependency or some some other dependency very very uh, you know not very common one um, yeah that's why you have to first install this so that its dependencies are installed auto sql learn will install but it will fail that's yeah it will fail and then you basically end up doing it manually the reinstall right like so yeah so um recurse okay so let's just grab it um let's just do it um that way we can talk about packaging okay so um i'll just do yeah okay so yeah and i wonder if there are other thing was um why is it so big Scared learn. Uh, let's see. Documents on I think I've done this before. So I like this threshold command. So find files over 10 megabytes and get the. Okay, so my guess is there's something weird going on with the images directory. Um, because. That's the only thing. The build directory won't be there. Everything else is like there. There must be something happening where it's like so. So each the, the diff dot get slash objects and pack or why all those things are so big. Let's say yeah. Should should they be in that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't have no idea. Um. I have. I mean, I'd. I'd Maybe I can go to start and check. Yeah, what are the pack files, I guess is the question. I mean, I think I think the problem is probably stemming from that, that there's a large GIF in there um, that shows the, uh, the maintainer's process for, um, for it's it's this okay. gift. Okay, I think so it kind seen. of has many frames or something. Yeah, and it's probably, for some reason, on every commit, repacking that whole thing is my guess uh it's the only thing that makes sense to me this gif right my guess is that this is getting redone over and over and over again in git somehow and that's very bad uh because there's no reason that it should be that there's no reason it should be like almost because a I'm gig. On, on on a very big project that is called uh, the 24 mix size is the pack size yeah so it should not be very big enough. No, it shouldn't be big at all. Um, 
this like this doesn't end. this is ridiculous and they to have kind of a plugin architecture like yeah yeah where was it Git compresses the contents of these objects. Huh. The blob is now a different blob. It means that although you added a single file to the end of a 400 line file, Git stored the content as a completely new blob. You now have two nearly identical 22k files on your disk. Uh, okay, but this is not something, something's not happening here. Um, uh, I think, yeah, I mean, this is the only explanation I can think of, right? Like, I think, what if we do, let's just do this. So, um, what is that? Uh, get, uh, remove large files. Now, the problem with this is that all of the branches will be invalidated. Um, Yeah. You know what I mean? If we rebase everything, it's just going to... Like, you have to... Basically, when you remove large files... Have, have you run into this before? No. So when you have to do this, you in, end up rewriting the entire history, which is far from ideal. Um... Get filter branch. Let's try it. I love copy pasting random things from the internet into the Git repo and then force pushing. Just kidding. Um, okay, so paste. It's a very scary thing to do. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see what happens. Um, Oh. Oh, we have a bunch of gifts. Oh. Yeah, this is not the best plan for us to be doing with all these gifts. Um, okay, so Yeah, we probably just should have put these somewhere else. I thought you know, a few won't hurt, but apparently it does hurt over time. I don't understand why we're not changing them. It shouldn't hurt if they're yeah, not they, being changed. The good, good thing is to put them in a GitHub comment. Yeah. Then pull them. What? Just put them in a GitHub comment and then... Try exactly. To the exactly. Yeah, That's the way to go. Reliable yep. I, I agree. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh. Yeah, look at this. This these GIF files are four thousand. Yeah, there we go. I think we I think we got it. Um, <laughs> although this is not good, so lesson learned. This is a big big lesson to learn. Um, I wonder. I have some some repos which in which I track my other kind of stuff like. Books and resources. Yeah. They are going to like over time. It is going to be much big pain in the ass. Yeah. So I'm trying to get. I realize we should get the. Uh... So I kind of use GitHub as a backup server. Yeah. So all yeah. The configuration files, all those academic folders, everything I keep on there. Yeah, I, I understand that. Yeah. I uh, I definitely because have... because when you're running on uh, such an unstable system, yeah, uh, 
Because yeah. It's so <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then you need to have a backup machine. Yep. In which you can pull it and yep. start your work without any issues. Yeah, I, uh, I, def- I ran, I ran, I, I run many, many. I mean, I, this is this computer wouldn't turn on today, and I was, I was, I was worried. It turns out it just was dead, out of battery. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm trying to. I, I realize I have another screen. Okay, this is bad. This is very bad. This is really, really, really bad. Um, I mean, but oh, this is really bad. This is terrible. Um, well, I am. I guess there's one thing to be grateful for, which is that we haven't hit beta yet. So. Yes, maybe we can remove it now. So it yeah, exactly. Before GSOC season starts yeah, here. That's yeah, the good that, news. And it is done, but. It is yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, so, so the uh, another question I had was, uh, if you can record a video for Windows. Yeah. I yeah. Definitely. And I have related <laughs> Windows thing completely. Yeah. Uh, because because it was like five gigs of the ISO and then twenty twenty five gigs on uh, the VM. Yeah. I... Anyway, it, it it was very problematic. Yeah. Manage. I only have like five hundred gigs on my machine, which is a small amount. Yeah. Yeah. I. I. Uh, I... I yeah I, I this this machine has like two two fifty or something and I just I kept I kept asking my manager can I get another computer or like a more hard drive space and she was like finally she was like yes so because I was like I want a Linux laptop and uh, because you know there's just like so many I mean I can't I mean yeah there's just I mean there's a million problems with Windows and doing development right so. Okay, so let's see. But most of our user base is going to be from Windows. Exactly, so right. Be, maybe it is even even if it's very rough or there are some slow parts, you mm-hmm. just kind of do it uh, and I'll, I'll like edit it and then we'll post it. Okay, maybe. great. If, if that works for you, if you don't have bandwidth to edit the video, then I can do it. No, no, no. Because that... I already have the template. Yeah, if you... So oh, I that's true. The, I will use the same, same hidden life template. That would be then... really great. So it will also look very uniform and uh, kind of... I don't have to do much work there. That would be great. Let Thank you. Cut it. Uh, yeah, I'd like to for us to find a... Okay. Why is it not letting me record the other screen? Oh, man. I love computers. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, let's see. Remove. Will it let me remove all the sources while we're capturing? No. Well, maybe? Oh, maybe it will. Um, display capture. So I'm I'm kind of curious to know how how do they do this in streams when they have like I know uh, moving parts and kind of is there some some place where we can find those kind of profiles like if someone joins in the Google Meet, uh, it will automatically adjust for their face and everything. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh... Like, have you seen those uh, VS Code guys do it very well? And yeah, I don't. Of streams and AMAs do it very well. Yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, there's a million people out here who know what they're doing with this. We are not two of them. Um, so, but yeah, I think I'm sure. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. I don't know where to look for it. I, yeah. I also said, did you see that thing recently that was the explanatory math video uh, generator? They have like uh, somebody wrote a wrote wrote some code to I think you can write math diagrams and stuff in React maybe and then it'll make a video for you. Yes, uh, React Motion. It is something like that. Yeah. Yes, yes. I've seen that someone made a video on it on YouTube recently. I saw it. Yeah. So you can like kind of code video into that. Mm-hmm. That is that is nice stuff. Yeah, I I think that that would be it would be really interesting to be able to script like that that install video that you made and stuff. Like it would be really cool to be able to script a video like that. Um Oh, I think we could do that actually. I've done that. But I didn't video it. I did VNC, but you could easily record the VNC. Oh, we talked about this. Um for the meeting recorder. Okay, so this is not this is via, OBS is not cooperating with me. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to one screen. Okay. 
All right. Well. So, so how do you manage your camera and two screens? Well, because I recently switched to an ultra wide monitor, and now my laptop is way off from where it is. Yeah. Uh. So, well, usually I have another camera. I mean, what I had been doing is when I do the recordings, I just look at the laptop. Is the thing because you it's 1080p and my other screen is and you're if you have an ultra wide right it's just recording in that resolution nobody's going to be able to see it right most people like you know you're not watching on a device okay now i have no displays great um recording on a device like that you're not gonna like it, it, yeah nobody's gonna see it so yeah